Hi boys and girls. It's a little bit snowy out here today. So, it's a good thing I've got my hat, my coat, my gloves, my boots, my snow pants, and even my long underwear. But if you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, fold your hands all nice and neat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Our first book for today is Froggy Gets Dressed by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank Rimpiewicz, and read for you by permission of um, Penguin Random House Publishers. It was cold. Froggy woke up and looked out the window. Snow, snow, he sang. I want to play in the snow. Go back to sleep, Froggy, said his mother. Don't you know, frogs are supposed to sleep all winter. Wake up when the snow melts. No, no, cried Froggy. I'm awake, awake. I want to go out and play in the snow. So Froggy put on his socks. Zoop! Pulled on his boots. Zip! Put on his hat. Zat! Tied on his scarf. Zwit! Tugged on his mittens. Zum! And flopped outside into the snow. Flop, flop, flop. Froggy, called his mother. What, yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. Oops, cried Froggy. I forgot to put on my pants. He flopped back inside. Flop, flop, flop. Tugged off his mittens, untied his scarf, took off his hat, pulled off his boots, he left his socks on, and slipped his pants on. Zip! Then he pulled on his boots. Zip! Put on his hat. Zet! Tied on his scarf. Zit! Tugged on his mittens. Zum, and flopped back outside into the snow. Flop, flop, flop. Froggy, called his mother. What, yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. Oops, I, he cried. I forgot to put on my shirt. And your coat, added his mother. He flopped back inside. Flop, flop, flop. Tugged off his mittens, untied his scarf, took off his hat. He left his pants, boots, and socks on, and buttoned up his shirt. Zut, zut, zut. Then he snapped on his coat. Snap. Put on his hat. Zat. Tied on his scarf. Zit. Tugged on his mittens, zum, and flopped back outside into the snow. Flop, flop, flop. What do you think, boys and girls? Is he ready this time? Uh-oh. Froggy, called his mother. What, yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. He had on his mittens, he had on his scarf, he had on his coat, he had on his shirt, he had on his pants, he had on his boots, he had on his socks. He reached up, yep, he had on his hat. What could be missing? You have any idea, boys and girls? Hmm. Your underwear! His mother laughed. Oops, cried Froggy. 
looking more red in the face than green. He flopped back inside. Flop, flop, flop. Tugged off his mittens, untied his scarf, unsnapped his coat, unbuttoned his shirt, unzipped his pants, pulled off his boots, took off his socks, he left his hat on, and slipped into his long johns with a zap of elastic. Hmm. Then he put on one sock, zoop, pulled on one boot, zup, tugged on one mitten, zum, started to tug on the other and let it drop and said, I'm too tired and went back to sleep. Good night, Froggy. Well, boys and girls, I wonder if you have a pair of long underwear. I do, and actually it keeps me very warm in the winter. All right, let's get ready for the next book. Well, boys and girls, I hope you liked that first book. I'm glad I'm not a frog. I'm not sure that frogs like to go out in the winter. But I do like to dress up like Froggy. So let's try this. Hmm, I'm going to get ready to go outside. But the day is cloudy and the wind is bold. I'm going to dress up warmly. I don't want to be cold. I'm going to put on my jacket. Ugh. and zip it up tight. I'm going to put on my left boot. I'm going to put on my right. I'm going to put on my scarf and put on my cap. I'm going to put on my mittens and clap, clap, clap. I'm going to go outside and play, play, play. Boys and girls, I hope you get outside and play. But first, Listen to our second book. And now to our second book for today, A Hat from Minerva Louise. It's written by Jen and Morgan Stokey, and it is written, read for you by permission of Penguin Random House Publishers. Minerva Louise loved snowy mornings. Her friends didn't like them one bit. They stayed inside all day with their heads tucked under their wings. Not Minerva Louise. She couldn't wait to go out exploring. Everything was so beautiful. She wanted to stay out all day, but it was too cold. If I had some warm things like you, she said, I could stay out and play. Who's she talking to? That's right, a scarecrow. A scarf might help, but not this one. It's way too big. What is she sitting inside? Can you tell? That's right. It's a hose, not a scarf. And these shoes are too big. Hmm. Minerva Louise is a little confused. What are those? That's right, gloves. A hat! That's just what I need. Do you know what that is? Mm. 
Minerva Louise does not know what it is, but it's a flower pot. But not this one. And not this one either. It's too heavy. There must be a hat around here somewhere. Can you see any hats? Minerva Louise looked outside. Everyone had on a fluffy white hat. <laughs> oh, your hat is wonderful. Where did you get it? Who is she talking to? Mm, a snowman. Oh, look. What's over here? A hat. It's perfect. But what's this? Oh, it's two hats. Boys and girls, can you tell what that is? Hmm. They're mittens. Mittens that are attached by a string so you don't lose them. Maybe you have some like that. This was just fine with Minerva Louise. One on her head and one on her tail. But she looks pretty happy. Well, boys and girls, I hope you've gotten to play in some snow and I hope that you had on lots of warm things. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye.